My name is Isabella, and today I have a mathematics question for you brought to you by RJ. Can we convert a sum of floors to a floor of sums? Specifically in the case where we are considering objects that satisfy a certain property. What does this mean? Let me show you an analogy. Suppose we want to know how many red balls are inside the bag. Typically, we would pull out each ball one at a time, determine if it's red, and count the red balls as we go along. Here we have one red ball. Here we still only have one red ball. Two red balls. Three red balls. Four red balls. Five red balls. And that is the last ball. We have five red balls in total. In mathematics, we call this a sum of floors. Think of the floor function as determining if a ball is red. And the sum is obviously counting all of the red balls. But many times, this complicates things in the world of mathematics. Let's try this a different way. This time, we are just going to count the total amount of balls, no matter what color they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. A lot of times in mathematics, we only know the total number, which we get from counting as we just did. Can we determine the number of red balls just by knowing the total amount of balls? This is called a floor of sums, which brings us back to the question. Can we convert a sum of floors into a floor of sums? Instead of checking each ball as we count, can we count all the balls first, then determine how many are red? Most of you say we can. If there is a pattern, such as every third ball is red, but is it still possible if there is no pattern? I hope you enjoyed this analogy. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down your thoughts below. Thank you so much for watching.